Hey Bass Geek here, and today we're going to be talking about throwing the buzz bait in the post spawn. All right, guys, before we get into talking about the buzz bait, I want to talk to you about Mystery Tackle Box. Now, they bring you once a month a surprise. It's like Christmas in your mailbox. If you love bass lures and bass baits, you're going to love getting a Mystery Tackle Box. And as always, there is a discount code so you can get a nice chunk of change off of that first box down in the description now all that being said guys who should get a mystery tackle box guys if you just like to learn new baits get a mystery tackle box if you're a young angler just starting out and you're trying to build your arsenal get a mystery tackle box if you're an old head like me and you're just bored and stuck in a rut throwing the same daggone baits every single time that it's spring summer winter fall you need a mystery tackle box. You can always learn from what's in the box by thinking outside of your normal box as an angler. Now, as you guys know, I give this box away every single month, the pro, and I'm telling you, there's some daggone good baits in this box this week. But I don't mind keeping them for myself. In the last two boxes, the guys that have won I put, you know, I will put a comment, I will reply to your comment on this video. And I will say, hey, you won, but you have to send me an email, bassgeek.biteme at gmail.com and tell me what your address is. I cannot mentally send this to you I have no other way to contact you. And after about a week or two, if you don't claim the box, I do. Because again, I don't get anything out of this sponsorship. I'm not even gonna call it a sponsorship. I don't get anything out of this, but this box every single month, and I give it away to you guys so that you can try some cool new baits and become better anglers. So make sure, keep up, if not, I just do a giveaway every single month to me. So I get some cool free baits. And I don't mind that, but I'm trying to give them to you. So claim your daggone boxes, guys. All right. And so the last two giveaways, I do still have the boxes. You might want to go back to those videos, spinner baits, spring spinner baits and spring crank baits, and see if you won if you haven't checked because after we choose the winner for this, I'm keeping them two suckers, they're mine. All right, so anyway, let's talk about, or let's look at what's in this week's or month's box. Oh, look, it's a spinnerbait. Just so happens we're talking about that. That's nuts, who knew? All right, as always, you get your little dibble digest. You know, I don't know if I'd wanna be around that guy a whole lot. He constantly wears waders. Can you imagine the swamp rear end he's got? I'm just saying. No offense, KVD. Now this is an interesting bait. This is the motorboat. I enjoy motorboating, but this is a different type of thing. So, you know, maybe we should have picked that one. All right. Now guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'll have to give it to them. And I really like what they've done they actually put the size on the jig head. Now, I don't know how long that's gonna last on there and how durable that is, but that's a 5 16th jig head. It's an Arky style, a skipping, flipping, whatever kind you wanna call it, uh, Guggen Squad, and that is a really good color. I like that sort of brown, throw it down. And uh, I like that sort of brown and that sort of blue and, and white color right there. Uh, really, really good looking color. Now, again, we've got another Guggen Squad bait. You know, that's a good looking color. Uh, good looking bait. That is the, uh, it's a three to six foot diver, two inches long, quarter ounce. Uh, Guggen Squad Mini Recon. 
so that sounds familiar for some reason uh here's a couple things i i, I do like this they actually have started throwing in some cards <laughs> you're not getting that card <laughs> it just went in the lake so they've started throwing in some cards to actually tell you where the best places are to and i will get that out of the lake but i'm not going to send you a moldy card now that it's all wet um they have started sending you these cards that actually allow you or, or tell you where the best spots on lakes are to use them uh i didn't even know googan squad started making hooks that'd be a good test to see how sharp they are here is a vertical lures uh kind of looks like a twin tail sort of play on a grub looks pretty cool uh again here's everything that comes in a box and how much it retails for you always get a cool sticker and here's some big bite baits uh you know these are some um, kind of mini creature baits always a big fan of that that look real good on the uh the jig all right guys let's break out the buzz bait rod so buzz baits i want to talk to you about a couple of tweaks that i do to my buzz baits number one i kind of like this buzz bait because right off the bat i noticed that it's clipping the head i like this head it's big and flat too so it means it's going to have some lift to it once we get into casting this i'll explain to you why that's kind of important the blade is big it's cupped slightly differently also so it really gives it a different type of plop 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 as it comes through the water now one thing that they've done kind of for you and it's probably going to work it's probably going to work just fine but i don't like it i like to do do it myself i like to be able to push that little rivet all the way forward so that my blade is all the way forward and hits pushed against it now i know what they're thinking they're they're thinking as the blade comes through the water it's going to pull back and you're going to get that squelching sound but I like to push it forward and then take a pair of pliers and crimp it. That gives you the squelching sound. Uh, you know, you always hear the old story about the guy tying the buzz bait to his uh, car antenna and driving around with it until it wears in and it starts squelching. Well, you don't have to do that. All you gotta do is push that rivet up and then bend it down. Now, it, it should work the same way, but we're gonna find out. Now, rod reel line that I like to use in this, this is my buzz bait rod. Listen, you don't need a big fancy rod. I don't care who tells you, you do. This is a buzz bait. They're going to hit it. You're going to set the hook. You're going to get them to the boat or you ain't. And that's it. You do not need a big fancy rod to, to fish a buzz bait. Case in point. This is a, probably a rod you can't even get. It's a tournament grade uh, quantum that I think I bought from Walmart 150 years ago. Uh, you, again, the biggest thing about this to remember is that this is a cheap rod. It's the, the most important thing about it is I like to target fish. So a 6.6, a 6.8, a 6.10. I like a six foot uh, eight rod okay because the shorter the rod the more accurate you're going to be reel is very important this is one of the times that i'm going to go high speed and sometimes i'll even go with this reel i'll go up into the eight area and and for you guys that watch my channel you know i don't tend to go into those crazy high speeds but this is one time i will now this is my Daiwa tatula this is an r type i don't think they make them anymore uh, they still make the CTs, but uh, this is a good little reel for that. It's a 7.3 to 1, so it's a, a higher speed reel. Now, what I do is I put monofilament on here. You can put braid and go to a monofilament leader. Uh, for me, I fish a lot of clear water, so 90% of the time, it's just going to be straight mono. And this mono is 15-pound test. Now... Let's go ahead and let's talk about the particulars of casting a buzz bait. Now, one of the things that I didn't tell you earlier is that I do actually like a trailer on here. Um, 
the Mach 1 Grub or some sort of toad generally is my favorite trailer. It's gonna give it a little more lift. It's gonna allow you to fish it just a little slower. But like I said, and these things can be tough to fish into the wind too. We got a little bit of wind coming in, but that's always, for me, I find that I like a buzz bait when it's a little calmer. And when you make that cast, you wanna get it out there and I stop it and just start bringing the rod back to me and then I start my retrieve. It's nice and slow. Now you can fish it a little slow. This one, this buzz bait tends to blow out going a little, a little faster. But again, lift and you can see perfectly nice slow retrieve. Hopefully you can hear me for the wind, but a nice slow retrieve. That's the key to fishing a buzz bait. All right guys, so now I know this is the moment you've been waiting for. You want to know how you can win this buzz bait. Uh, if you've got any questions about fishing a buzz bait, let me know other places to fish it. You know, it, like I said, it's it's kind of the top water version of the spinner bait. So, you know, there's really no wrong place to throw it. But all that being said, what are we going to do? Hashtag booyah. All right. So make sure you spell it right. Hashtag booyah to be entered in to the contest to win this month's mystery tackle box. Just put it in the comment section below, hashtag booyah. All right. Okay, guys, I do appreciate it. As always, we will draw one week from the day this video comes out. And if you want the box, make sure, you know, if you're taking the time to watch the video, make sure that you're taking the time to check and see if you won on next week's video okay anyway as always like it if you like it don't forget to subscribe make sure you ring that bell and you guys rock